it is time for another SQL Sunday. All right, let's jump straight into it. All right, so today's question is from Microsoft. Uh, it is called Download Facts. Find the total number of downloads for paying and non-paying users by date. Include all records where non-paying customers have more downloads than paying customers. The output should be sorted by earliest date first and contain three, column, three columns, date, non-paying downloads, and paying downloads. Okay, so, sorry about the noise. I am clearing the space on this table. All right, <laughs> so for MS user dimension, we have user ID, account ID, and we have MS account dimensions, account ID, paying customers, and we have MS download facts, which is date, user ID, and downloads. Let us look at these tables. So MS user dimensions, okay, it has user ID and, the, and their account ID. Okay, so I'm curious if the user ID, one user only has one account or it is not the case. That's a question that I'm going to be keeping in the back of my head. Um, and another one, see, let's see, MS account dimensions, account ID and paying customer. So I'm assuming paying customer will show me some sort of data, um, either identifying that it's a paying customer or not, or it's a table that only has paying customers. So let us see. Okay, cool. So this is a table that um, has account ID and it tells you if it's a paying customer or not. So I assume that it's either no or yes. And for MS download facts, this is a fact table that tells you date, user ID, and the downloads. Okay, let us look at the expected output. Um, so it's gonna be date, it's gonna be non-paying, and it's gonna be paying, and it's sorted by date. Okay, cool. This question has quite a few steps to it. So let's try to break this down. Um, so let's see, find a total number of downloads from paying and non-paying users by date. So we only, so we only want to include records where non-paying customers have more downloads than paying customers. So that's going to be a filter over there. And then the output should be sorted by earliest date first and contain three columns. Okay, so some of the assumptions I'm going to make here, as I was saying earlier, the, um, actually, okay, so for, for user, I was talking about how like user, each user would only have one account ID. Um, I don't know if that actually matters here because even if they did have multiple account IDs and then they used it on every single like multiple times a day, we're like, you know, using different accounts. Since we're just summing up the different downloads they're doing, I don't think it actually matters in this case. All right, let us tackle this question. Okay, let's see. So first we want to do some joins. So we're gonna be joining together these tables. Uh, MS user dimension, MS account dimension, and MS download facts. Okay, and then after that, we will be, we'll be grouping by date. And for each date, we want to uh, use a case one. So we want to sum um, all downloads for non-paying customers and also for paying customers. And finally, uh, oh yeah, we want to sort by earliest date. So we want to order by date. And then finally, uh, include only records where non-paying customers have more downloads than paying customers. So this is gonna be another filter. So, okay, so non-paying customers downloads is greater than paying customers. Cool, let's get started on the query. Okay, let us see. So from MS user dimension, join MS account dimension, join MS download facts. 
So for this joint, oh no, okay. For this joint, we are joining on, uh, let's give this name. So user account dimensions, call that A, and download fast, call that F. So on U dot, what are we joining on? Mm, account ID is equal to A dot account ID. And for this one, we are joining on U dot user ID is equal to F dot user ID. Oops. Cool. Mm, group by date. So I'm going to write the select name in first. Select. So we want the date. And then, so we want to sum all downloads from non-paying customers. So here we're going to need to use a case when statement. So we can do case when, what's it called? Paying customer. Paying customer is equal to no. Then downloads. And as... Uh, what is it called? Non-paying. So this will, for each time that we have a paying customer, uh, not paying customer, then we're going to get the number of downloads. And what we want to do here is that we actually want to sum this together. And that will give us all the downloads for that day for the non-paying customer. And we want to do the same for the paying customer. So case when paying customer is equal to yes, then downloads and as paying. Okay, so we are going to be grouping by the date here. And then we want to order by date as well. Uh, we want it ascending, right? Yeah, so we can just leave that. And finally, um, so we need to do this filter. So there's like a few ways of doing this. Um, I generally prefer using like a, a CTE um, because I think it's just a little bit clearer to read for the interviewer and, and for myself. <laughs> so let's do that. Um, let's call it like with temp as not the best name, but whatever. <laughs> it is fine. Okay. We temp as that, and then we will say from temp, we will select all and where, what is it again? Non-paying customer is greater than paying customer. So non-paying is greater than paying. This is a longer query. It's also a little bit harder. So let's just make sure that we actually got everything right. Um, let's see. From MS user dimension. Okay, we're joining these together. That looks fine. Okay, group by, order by, temp as, Okay, we're finding a sum of it, and then we're also find, finding some case when paying customer is equal to yes, then downloads. Cool. Mm, okay. I think this should be correct. Shall we check the solutions? Alright. Okay. Yay! We got it right. Yay! Okay. Uh, I want to actually see here because this is like um, I wonder what they did in terms of their solution. Uh, let's see. Okay, so okay, so this is their inner query. So let's also look at that. Some case when. Okay, so this looks about the same. Um, 
group by date, order by date. Okay, so and then select here. Yeah, so they over here, they did like a group by statement and then a having statement. Um, yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's, that's the same here. I don't know if you need to order it again over here because um, it's already in order. I don't know. I, I don't think you actually need to order again, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess like having it in there is is better. Uh, so better safe than sorry. I can definitely see like there's some uh, servers in which if you don't explicitly order explicitly order it again then it would not, it would be out of order. But I think that's like a pretty minor detail. So it's okay if you didn't catch that. I mean, <laughs> I, I didn't catch that. Um, yeah. So I think that's correct. Oh, they did a left join here. So, okay, they did a left join on both of these. Why did they do a left join? Um, MS user dimension. Okay, so I would actually argue that maybe you shouldn't do a left join. Yeah, so I think I would actually argue that maybe you shouldn't do a left join here. Uh, my reasoning is because if you're joining these together, say like you're joining together the user dimensions and then the account dimensions, and it doesn't exist on account dimensions, then you could get um, that you wouldn't know if they're a paying customer or not. You might just, you would just get like a bunch of nulls in that case. And the same over here. So I think, um, I guess like it doesn't really matter um, that much in this case because it seems like all the, um, what is it called? The, the dummy data as well as like the checks that they have are really just not really looking into that case. Um, and also because you are explicitly saying like when paying customers equal to yes, but when paying customers equal to no. Um, so I guess like it's okay and you're also summing it. Yeah, so I, I don't think it actually makes that much of a difference um, in this case. Okay, cool. Enough of my ramblings. Um, yeah, in terms of like what we can do to optimize or improve it, you know, this is a, this is a, this is a good question. I, I like this question. I would love to see your solution for this one because I feel like there's a lot of ways of approaching this one. Um, and I will not doubt that you guys come up with much more optimal ways of doing things than I have. Um, even, yeah. So I would love to see that. Leave it as a comment below. Um, but currently, on to like off the top of my head, I can't really think of anything that will make it more optimized. Maybe I don't know if there's a way of doing it so that you can only have one pass through. But if you guys like can figure out a way of doing that, please do let me know. That's it for me. And that's it for this episode of SQL Sunday. If you guys want to check out Strata Scratch, check it out in the link below. All right. See you guys in the next video.